This is the Conservative Zion, November 14th, 2016. I want to talk a little bit about the two first appointments uh, to, that Trump has made. Rance Priebus to uh, Chief of Staff and Bannon as uh, number one aide or something like that. Well, but it's an important position that he's been named to. I don't want, I don't want to cut this down. Rance Priebus is a moderate uh, establishment pro-Ryan individual. He is a horrible selection for chief of staff. Now, it is true that the chief of staff is uh, more like a, an apartheid uh, bureaucratic position rather than a policy position. Uh, but that that's only 50% of, of chiefs of staff are like that. The other 50% are really involved in policy, have the ear of the president, and if there's something that's going on here with Donald Trump is, you know, there's a little bit of truth to the idea. If you're the last person to talk to him, then that's the idea he comes forward with. A little bit of truth to that, especially when you're off the main campaign issues. Uh, and and Rance Priebus is a horrible pick. Absolutely horrible. Uh, the, you know, he's, he's, uh, he, he's a mole for, for Paul Ryan uh, and in, in, uh, increasing the ambition of the power of Paul Ryan when it should be diminished more. Uh, but having said that, the pick of Bannon, who is the Breitbart chief operating officer, who is a, um, a, a pretty strong conservative, uh, although a lot of them about him is a little unknown. If you follow Breitbart, he, he is a tremendous conservative. And so, so we have this balance. And I got a feeling that this is the story of the Trump administration. I think I'm figuring out Donald Trump, and I and and it's this the the yin and yang of it. Trump doesn't have a core, solidly core philosophical uh, principles. He, he he is he's he's I think by instinct a conservative, but he's easily swayed off of that to uh, to the center. And um, and so this this battle between Priebus and Bannon is is going to be substantial, and I don't know. It, and you have no idea who's going to win this battle. If I had to guess, I would guess that over time, Trump becomes more moderate, and Rance Priebus will ascend. But Trump's different, so we don't know. But this is this is a, a terrible selection and a very good selection. Both of them having the same role to influence Donald Trump. He invites this. He invites this battle. And uh, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. I, I think it's, a, it's more of a question, I really don't know what to do. Uh, I got half the people tell me one thing and half the other. I'll just pick one from each side. And by the way, that's where this is going. The, if you take, a, and we're going to have more on this, the transition team is split between conservatives and moderates. And I'm going to give you a tip of where we're going on this. The leading moderates are, are there, in this group are Jared Kushner, husband of Ivanka. Ivanka herself, who is not a, a conservative at all. She is actually a liberal moderate, as is her husband at best. Uh, and and the, other, the other really malice, maleficent, person in this group who is a moderate, who is a, 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 a wolf in sheep's clothing, is Giuliani. He is a moderate, right along with Kushner, Trump, Ivanka, and Giuliana, Giuliani leading the moderate uh, efforts within the, within the transition team as, as it is as laid out today. This is a battle. And, and so what Donald Trump does with the first, the first choice of which side he's going to go, he splits it right down the middle between the two. Uh, Jared Kushner supports Priebus. Um, Sessions, um, Ben Carson, um, people like that support Bannon. So it's a, a, we, it's a real good tip-off of what's going to happen down the road. I think we're going to get a lot more of this in this giant battle between the liberal moderates and the conservatives within Donald Trump's inner circle. It's going to be fun to watch.
This is the conservative side. See you next time.